guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back on the Power Creep account. We're gonna do some summons in here. We are in 16-40, so making a ton of progression. Finally got a, a Mythic Hero, which of course, right there, guys, we do have Tamaris. Now, overall, Warrior um, working incredibly well when it comes to crowd control. You can see we have him built out quite a bit, added the signature item, and I was on the fence going between Tamaris and Orin. Overall, guys, went with Tamaris, and again, getting him up to Mythic has been pretty solid. It, it has really been pretty solid. We do need additional um, heroes. As you can see, we are stuck at 120 right here because I need more legendary heroes. So fingers crossed that we can pull some legendary heroes out of here. You can see, guys, we've saved about 14,000 diamonds. A um, couple things to note when you get to chapter 16, which again, we're going to look at. Um, number one, the Thrilling Voyage opens and all of the voyages open. That is right, guys. We started in the Crimson Snow actually going through here, but Lost in Riviere, um, Delicious Dreamland, and the Maritime Menace are all up for the Fantastic Beasts. So cool to see that this is open, guys, because of course going through here, not only is it yielding us a ton of diamonds, but look at the mats. Early game, this is an absolute game changer when it comes to the materials that you're getting. In these game modes, guys, not only the red chest, but the engraving mats, the poke coins, the stargazer cards, everything of that nature through all of these events, guys, are huge. Not only that, the time emblems, which again, we're going to get into um, in just a minute because the time emblems are now open. In addition, guys, the King's Tower opened with all of the faction towers, which again is really cool to see. You, you can see right there, guys, World Tree, we went through 24s. The Forgotten Necropolis, we don't have enough heroes in here to actually go through and start fighting at this point. We're not strong enough. I'm going to have to level up some of these based on the Resonating Crystal. Hopefully, we can get some of the off factions. If you look, guys, Lightbearer, we have Palmer at Legendary. Maulers, we have no one. Greyborn, we have no one. But the Wilders, we have been very, very lucky with. Then, of course, Celestials, we got all the copies of Wukong out of the events. We also did pull that early copy of Frampton. No current heroes for the Dims, guys, but we are pretty close, which I'm hoping with the summons to actually get the Dimensional Hero. So I'm going to try to get a copy of Rem. I've been adding this up every single day. As we've been making more progression in moving through here, we are like halfway, over halfway through. And I know we have nine more days, but I feel like we can definitely get a little bit more in here. Challenger tokens are going to be an issue. Um, but maybe within the next 16, we can pick up a copy of Rim, which again would be pretty cool. Now, I'm also saving the trial version. We have talked about this before. I'm saving the trial version as of now till it gets closer to when we're going to be able to rede redeem for her, guys. Also, the Peaks of Time, we have a new Peaks of Time that just opened in the Dismal Descent. We're able to make a ton of progression in here because of Ainz. Ainz is literally carrying us. The Wandering Bloon, actually not far off to open, as well as the Trial of Gods is quite a bit more when it comes to the, um, the faction specific. Now again, everything in here, we are just banking. I am banking everything within here, but the Beast Ground also did open with 16 guys. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop the heroes I'm looking for in the wish list. I am going to go with, of course, the seal because just absolutely broken. Um, Talisman I like, but not for a little bit. I'm going to go in here, and I'm thinking the owl. I'm thinking probably the rock lizard or even the winged lion. I think I'm going to go winged lion with 314 baits. Again, this is what we've gotten out of the events, out of the um, AFK rewards, things of that nature. Fingers crossed we can pull one of these beast guys. And of course, we just unlocked. There we go. We have the dreary ball or the, the tufty ears, but we already had the dreary ball. Let's see if we can pull some copies of these. And there we go, guys. We got a wing lion. Very, very nice. We were hoping to pull at least one copy, guys, which there it is, one copy of our wing lion. Um, I'm going to go ahead, add in some attack and some crit damage amplification in there. Then, of course, the rest of these, we're just going to be able to level up um, little by little as we continue to make progression. But now... We're to the point where it's awesome to see because we have the ability to actually utilize these within a bunch of different game modes, which is what we're looking to do, guys. Beasts, especially early game like the Wing Lion, will make a really big difference, even just having the, the basic build on the Beast because of the build. Um, overall, the rare Beasts do incredibly well early game until you get to a certain point. Now, looking here, guys, I've been opening up all the chests. We've been going through everything. And then we do have three summons in here for elites. Boom, let's see who we get. So we got a copy of Theo in. Okay, that's another elite we could definitely use. Rowan, my boy, my favorite hero still in AFK Arena. One copy of Rowan, and then we have Almus, which unfortunately nobody knows who he is. 
but we have another copy. Six rare stones out of here, which again is gonna give us some more food. Still waiting for the Twisted Essence to actually build that out a little bit further so we can start utilizing this Elder Tree. We just need a little bit more for the Elder Tree. Um, you can see level 15 or complete chapter 12. We are close to 15, we're already at 13, which again, fingers crossed with our summons that we have out of here. I am gonna swap this and I am thinking, you know what, I'm gonna continue with the Wilders because we have Ulrin, might not be the um, smartest one in there, but I'm hoping that we can get a, more, a couple more copies. A little bit more food in here, guys. Let's knock out these summons. And again, the wish list, of course, is the power creep wish list. So we have the five strongest heroes within AFK Arena. There is Nevi. Um, the five, not only the strongest, but the most current heroes are the ones that we built out of here. Boom, we get some, look at that. The amplifying emblems are showing up, guys. That means we're gonna be able to build up Tamaris a little bit higher. And I'm hoping with the food we're seeing here, we're gonna be able to get a couple heroes higher. Now, with the, the diamonds, of course, when you unlock the towers, um, we wanna get at least three. Three is the goal, guys. Um, three ascended heroes in each faction. That way we can make our tower progression before we start going over to the Stargazer. Stargazer, of course, I popped the twins in there. Again, just utility-wise. I'm gonna do one summons for the twins and literally one First one, a lot of players have said are guaranteed. A lot of players say it is not guaranteed, but there we go, guys. So we do get our first copy of the twins. They are the priority to build. Then we look at Mortis, then we get into Lucretia, but there we go. So we get some resources, but we do get the one copy of the twins. And then out of here, guys, I already got lucky with summons and I pulled one copy of the Awakened version of Solus. So I'm going all in for Belinda. We haven't done any summons in here yet, but she is going to be the first one that we're gonna be looking at building out. A lot more food in here, which I like, and a lot more wilder food. That is what we are looking for, guys, is building out some more of these wilders so I can actually get Orin built up a little bit more, even taking Tamaris a little bit higher because we already do have another copy, guys. If we get three more copies of Tamaris, that might be our first ascended hero that we're building, which again would be pretty interesting. So we have two holes in here, guys. First one, of course, doesn't yield us anything, but look at the EXP. 24 hour EXP, we have four six hour EXP. That is gonna be massive guys at this game mode to be able to actually build them out. Not only getting the cards, but getting the experience again within this game mode is going to be big. It, it is going to be absolutely huge um, to be able to build out these heroes early, which there we go guys, another elite, another copy of Treznar. And the final pull just gives us some more food but we have another card right there. Again, going for Wilders, guys. I wanna build a couple of these out in there is Cirrus. Again, another hero that not many players do use at all. Scrolls, I'm gonna save until we do get 10 of them, but Temple of Ascension, this should give us a little bit more in here to be able to build. And there we go, guys, we have another copy of Hogan. Still looking for copies of Palmer. As you can see, guys, we could take Palmer up significantly if we did get another copy because we have enough copies of Hogan in here. Even looking here, guys, I have two copies right here of Alero. That is the only hero that we have, but let's pop open all these chests and see what we can get, guys. Even Essence in here, guys, that's a lot of Essence. Seven, what is that, like seven million? Seven, 7,840K. I love how they just, they uh, show it in here. All right, so let's pop this open. Double Maulers, we get a copy of Granite, which of course, plus 30 signature item. Copy of Savius, a little bit of food, and then a little bit more Light Bear food with double more Rio right there. We, we have a lot of resources, guys. Again, Tamaris, we are trying to build up a little bit further. Little short on there, but we can definitely gain some levels. 140, of course, means that we're gonna build him up a little bit further. Boom, look at that, guys, 154. That alone is going to be a massive, massive game changer, guys, for this account. That is the reason why we're, what do we start this Thursday? So, I mean, we're, we're like six days in. I think tomorrow will be our, or no, today. Today would be the seventh day, guys. Again, making some solid progression. I'm, I'm very, very happy with the account. Looking at the heroes that we've gotten, looking at kind of the build. Um, and again, we're saving Amelia. We're saving Rem. We are saving a, a couple heroes in here. I want to grab them right towards the end so we can just make a lot of progression, hopefully with them towards the end. 
of when they're going to be available and also getting that free copy of REM. Again, we're going to have to link them. We're going to have to build um, build them up a little bit, but we are definitely doing well. Need some more slots within that resonating crystal. Also, we've started fighting some bosses in here, so we've actually seen a lot of bosses um, as we've continued progression. The Cursed Realm, the basic version of the Cursed Realm is open as well. Again, we've been kind of pushing through here. Um, getting some loot out of here, which is awesome. The Twisted Realm is up. The Cursed Realm is up. The bosses are up. Also, the the uh, Beast Resonance, the Thrilling Voyage is up as well. Again, making a lot of progression on this account. I, I'm super, super happy. We just need some more slots. I'm not going to use diamonds in here to buy them just because we've been getting them on a regular basis. Then, of course, the Elder Tree. We just need a couple more levels, guys. And we will be able to actually power level up a lot of it. Field of Stars continues to unlock. I'm just going to spend some diamonds because I'm not going to remember to come back here. There we go, guys. We are getting these unlocked. So an extra 50 diamonds right out of there for our dailies. That adds up, guys. It is the accumulation of everything that we have here. Already got most of Dura's artifacts. Still building them out with some stars. Chest, we are almost done, guys. With 16, we can actually get some of this for Tamaris. Um, as we continue to build him as a carry in AFK Arena, it, it's it's cool to see. I, I really do like the dynamic between these two because Tamaris pulls everyone together and Oren just does an incredible amount of damage. But again, I don't think we have enough copies of heroes to, to really go any higher. We could take it above the 140 if we went through and just built out Hogan a little bit, which might even be honestly worth it. Just because, again, we know once we get another copy of Palmer, um, that's going to be the ability so we can switch it around and actually use him. But here, again, we don't have enough food to build him up. We we could get Brutus, but literally we'd just put, be putting him at Legendary. Here, again, we don't have enough food. We got a lot of copies of Peanut, which was pretty cool to see. Um, and then in here, the exact same. We have enough food, it looks like, at this point to get a Legendary Plus, which we might. We could actually build Shimira up as well, which which would be uh, pretty interesting to see the old school Shamira carry. And then of course we do have our copy of the twins in there, which was awesome to see. Unions, of course, because we're building out Hogan, a couple other heroes, it is now permanent as we continue our progression, guys. So I think with all of the level gains, everything of that nature, so even though we did get the new tank, um, haven't really been using him. I, I've tried him in a couple different modes. Um, didn't see a, a super, super effectiveness within there. We're going to have to finish out this last stage. I know there is going to be an RNG factor. Even running Peanut in here just as the damage mitigation, of course, gives a lot of survivability to um, Eron and also to Tamaris to pull these heroes together. Arden with the crowd control right there, guys. Some of these stages are the sticking point in AFK Arena, and that is kind of what we've seen. But continuing to make progression... If we can get Oren up a little bit higher, unlock that signature item, continue building him up through here, making a lot of progression, guys. It's awesome to see, again, the, the progression, 16-4, 16-40. So you figure a week in, pretty much 17 chapters in with a little bit less than a week in on this account. Again, very cool to see, guys. So that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.